All right, guys, so we're, we got some really cool uh, responses here on the, on the fourth floor, right? Yep. We're on the fourth floor, so we're gonna be heading down to the second floor. And from what Leon says, they've never investigated down there, so let's hope we capture some good evidence down there. You never know what we're gonna get down there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. We've been here waiting. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. So sometimes we just get these vibes uh, from these places, and we just sort of because of the fact that you know we're bringing people with us mm -hmm. that really don't have any defenses, and uh, we don't want to put them into. Danger, you know what I mean? Yeah, especially when you've never, maybe said, they've never uh, experienced this sort of thing. So you said there's no way to get into this room, right? You know, here. Which one's the room that we that has that window? This one is the one that's open. Okay, yeah, we did come in this one, right? Yeah. This one is okay. So it's locked out. Is there a reason for that? For them locking them up? Yeah, just to keep the people out from damaging stuff. Okay. Squatters, huh? Yeah, squatters is the big one. Actually, been nailed shut. Wow, you can't tell. Yeah, it's been nailed shut. You see, boom, and nail driven in. Yeah. Crazy. Oh. Ho. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call me? What does that say right there? Another one. San Diego, California. So these, these little windows on top, those are called transoms. Yeah, they and, open, right? Yeah. To let the air in? Yeah. Those, they have those at the, the gardener. Mm-hmm. The gardener works out also. The gardener is a pretty good place. Yeah, I worked there for a few months. Oh, did you? Yes. And in the first week, I actually got to do an investigation there. Nice. Yeah, the basement was pretty, pretty crazy. The basement gets nuts, especially when you open that storage room. Yeah. And you open that storage room, for some reason it just lets something in. Yeah. There is very, very strange. In there, they have all the old uh, original furniture and antiques that were in that hotel. Oh, it's got some badass 1940s furniture. Yes. Floor. I was lucky enough to actually see all that stuff. We said we actually used to do a tour. Oh yeah? Oh shit. Dude, I swear to God, man. I thought. I thought. I felt like something fucking like brushed me, dude. Are you serious? Like my breath just went away. <laughs> Zach was talking to those guys right here, huh? Yeah, yeah, this is right here. This is the office. Okay, yeah, because I remember. Wait, did you come from this right over? You did not, huh? Holy crap, this is the first time anybody's ever done anything. So here's the laundry room. I want to see if there's. He said something about a kitchen. Yeah. Because it could have been back in the day before they made it into a laundry room. It would make perfect sense. Yeah. It would make perfect sense. And for the city, the city would require like a kitchen area. I don't see anything that would. Is that a kitchen room? Who the hell knows? Well, this, this is just the laundry room, period.
<laughs> we don't want that. I've never right seen that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you feel it right here. Right yeah. here. So these things were notorious for leaking like crazy and flood the basement sometimes. And you'd be in that middle room and it's just raining in there. Damn. This one's yeah. creepy. Open. Where is this? Why is this here? Uh, that was one of the uh, properties mm -hmm. that, uh, you mean the picture? Yes. Yeah, that's one of the properties that um, uh, the old owner mm -hmm. used to own. Um, so I can't remember what his name is, Oscar. He used to own, or he owns these properties. I actually had oh, to okay. move somebody up to that room right there. The are those are located on Montana Street? Those or are Sunset Heights. Those are in uh, over by the stadium, like between oh, the stadium and yeah. the in that area right there. That like really old neighborhood right there. Oh, okay, yeah. It's those are of, over 100 years old too, right? Yeah, they're old. It's a beautiful neighborhood. So in here, this is the this is the office. This is the main office inside here. Um, but it's pretty modern. But are those original keyholes? Uh, could be. Are they key cubbies? It could be. It very well could be. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Wow. Um, one of the uh, Oscar, the old owner of this place, he said that uh, he was sitting inside the office one time and something growled at him. No oh, man. Which is is common here. And, uh, have you heard him before? Oh yeah. Yeah. And, um, and he said he just turned around. And he's like, "Get the hell out of here!" So he stood up for himself. <laughs> you know, which is oh, what yeah. you have to do. You have to. And I don't take over you now. Yeah. Let's see if any of the rooms are unlocked. I have no idea. Dude. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. It's pretty bad. Really bad. Oh shit. It's that case mm. back there mm -mm. actually belonged to Art, one of my guys. And uh, they had stolen his case. And then we found it in here. And uh, so we're like, oh, let's open it. It's just gross. Mm -mm. Like, it's just grimy. And uh, of course, it's full of like DVDs and CDs and stuff. Probably stuff that whoever lived here actually stole. So it's pretty messed up, man. Very disgusting. There's probably valuables in these rooms. Jeez. Never know what they're attached to. Yeah. So they say that this is the other room seven that uh, Devil Dave lived in. But I don't think it is. I think it's the one downstairs. Mm -hmm. I wasn't here for, for that. Yeah, especially when you see that cross. Is that, is that actual blood? No, it actually looks like feces. Oh, okay. Looks like somebody put a shit on it. <laughs> I mean, it kind of spread like, like blood. It spread like blood. Yeah. Somebody was in there. Oh, I think I know who's room this was. Oh, so one of the residents, he, uh, he fixed up his room real nice. And I think this is the one. Or no, I take that back as a different one. It's up front. So one of the mm -hmm. rooms up front is really nice. This is not bad, though. This one's not bad. Look at the Not at all. This one has his own restroom, too. Yeah. Yeah. They got a restroom, and behind here is a shower. This one's not bad. Hey, you want some shoes? No, I'm good. <laughs> so the odd thing is, the storage room, which I believe is locked, has a bunch of mattresses in it. And I think they were the ones where people actually died on. No way. Can't see for sure. Oh, damn. Okay, the hell out of me. You've never been in here, yeah? Shower. Wow. 
That's original, big time. You yeah. can tell. Yeah, that's the way this place used to look. If wow. I owned this place, this is how every room would look. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Semi ornate, not really fancy though. Yeah. Perfect for the time. Early 1900s. Yeah. That's the Reagan right there, right? Yep. The Reagan's active as hell. What's that? The Reagan is active as hell. Yeah, we did that one a few months back. We got some weird activities, some weird responses. Yeah, we did. So, the history behind the Reagan is that uh, the building is actually called the Cathcart building. And Cathcart was a doctor. And, oh, that's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys learned that, right? Yeah. yeah. So he had Pott's disease, and that's where tuberculosis travels from the lungs into other parts, and in this case, into the spine. So tuberculosis eats away the bone. So it's a lot worse than a lot, just a cough, you know? Mm -hmm. So it ate its way into his spine, his spinal, not his spine, but his, uh, his vertebrae. Made a hunch over. So in the early days when we were investigating that place, doing tours there. Ooh. Nope. It's not me. Uh, I'm not even close to that. I don't think it was that, was it? It was, it was like bouncing there, nothing. Right in the corner. Um, so in the early days, we'd be down in the basement, and we would hear, uh, we, uh, we would see something hunched over, following people. So we thought it was something nefarious until we found out the doctor, Dr. Cathcart, actually had Pott's disease and would be hunched over. He was crippled from it. Wow. Um, so yeah, th that's that's what that that is, and and it's it's got activity. As we were setting up uh, with gentlemen, um, I saw something on the ceiling. He's got that second level. I saw something on the ceiling, kind of peek down from the ceiling and go back up, but the ceiling's black. So I couldn't see anything beyond where it peeked over onto the lighter colored wall. And uh, I was like, okay, okay, this is how it's going to be. Whoa. Look at that. Got an orb? So as you were talking, yeah, an orb came down straight like this mm -hmm. and then went. Nice. And uh, right on. <laughs> so, so uh, a few minutes later, one of my people's like, like that, looking up on me. I said, what did you see? I saw something. Down from the ceiling. I said, right there behind this thing. She goes, Yeah, that's exactly where I saw it too. <laughs> and we heard a little kid giggling up there. Oh, shit. Very, uh, very common point. Did you ever get the chance to go up into the, the roof? The, the crawl space on the top? No. Yeah, uh, what was his name? Uh, Caesar? Uh, yeah, Caesar. That's what the yeah, Caesar, Caesar uh, let us go up there. And, I don't know, I just got a real weird vibe in there. The brick, it looks old. That's probably where, uh, what's his name, passed away, uh, in that area. Because uh, really? it, it used to be taller. So, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right, because they, uh, I don't, why did you say it? it used to be used as a... <sighs> I think it was like the Democratic Party headquarters at one time. Yeah. And uh, I can't remember what else. It was a hotel. It was a nice hotel. Mm -hmm. the yeah, that's, that's what I remember him telling me. I'm going to check the door real quick, make sure it's secure. And it is. The foot's a little lever up. Somebody's got to remember there's a trash bag right here, so black mask is going to be the trash bag. Person? I, I actually saw a person standing at the end of the hall. Just now? Yeah, it would be probably about five and a half feet tall. Was it on the right side? It was a little bit to the right. 
is pretty much almost in the center, but a little bit to the right. Yeah. Who's down there? Spirits down here? I know you're here. It's okay that we're here. My name's Leon. I rent this building right now. I know Yvette. Yvette's doing fine. Dennis in a long time. You guys remember Dennis? I assume he's doing okay. I'm sure Robert's still hanging around. I saw Shorty the other day. I see him every weekend. You guys remember Shorty? That's me. He's got a new dog. His little chihuahua passed away. Little Chihuahua died. You remember his little Chihuahua? I think you guys terrorized his little dog. Now he's got a big black dog. It's got one white eye. I know Shorty passes by here every once in a while. Do you get to see him sometimes? Do you like Shorty or not? Let's try the same backlighting technique with my trap. Yeah. I'll use this Should we set up uh, the same devices that we had earlier? Yeah. You want to set the camera back? Yeah, I'm going to set it back here. That way you can join us. Just make sure you can be able to see everything. Cool. Got you. Just try not to make too much noise on this because the last time you talked. Okay, let me pause it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's the camera, remember? Up here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, hold on. Tell me if it paused. And, uh, okay. so when we first started, we started off in the first floor because there's no access to the rest of the building. We had our own entrance down there. And we went into the hallway, and the guy's giving us a briefing, and we're all standing here like this, talking over by Devil Dave's room. Talking is like not that one, but the one before it. We're sitting there talking, and we're looking down the hall, we hear noise. And the first thing I see is a shadow right across the back. And actually on YouTube, there's a video. Yeah, yeah it was like in this room right here. So there's a video on YouTube of the same exact thing, but it wasn't when we were there. It's like one of the oldest DeSoto Hotel videos. Mm -hmm. And it's the exact same thing, like a purplish black streak going across. And so I see this, and I'm like, well, you know, maybe that's where all that trash is now. I was like, well, maybe there's, uh, you know, headlights or something. I was like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense because it was black. Mm -hmm. So as we're paying attention, we hear somebody walking around back there. And we know that whole first floor was completely empty at the time. And so as we're standing there and we're looking down the hall, a shadow comes out of one of the bathrooms. No way. This thing is this tall. It's seven feet tall. And it leans out like this, and we can see everything like this. Like it's leaning out and it's looking at us. And I didn't believe in shadows at all. And I'm sitting there watching this, and I'm going, I guess they exist. I'm actually standing there with my camera like this, and I did not take a picture because I was shocked. Oh, man. Shocked to see this thing. And Two bars. Like, okay. I'll go ahead downstairs. But yeah, that's the very first time I saw a shadow. And now I don't believe him because it's staring at us right there. Three whole seconds. And you just basically froze and you didn't know how to, re know how to react to it. We all did. 
We all do. We uh, about five or six. Oh, crap, man. Yeah. We, just, we just stopped and looked at each other. I, looked, I was standing with the with the tour guides. I wanted to see what they were seeing, and I was I look at them and they're just looking at each other like, wow. And at that point, when we were at the gardener, I was trying to figure out how they're faking this stuff. Mm -hmm. I saw that. And I was like, this is legit. So, <laughs> this is 100% legit. Holy crap! Oh, shot. <laughs> oh. Oh it's real. <laughs> They're not faking anything. Oh, that tripped me out. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was almost invisible. <laughs> oh, crap. Did you ever get the chance to meet Zach Bacon with the guys? Uh, no, I'm not here. Um, they emailed me. Uh, but I didn't, we had an email failure. So I didn't get the email until the day they left. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That SP7 I use. Mm -hmm. This is. Oh, really? Bought from some kid in San Diego. And it's a coral. And he told me, oh, yeah, it, uh, this guy came to town and he gave it to us. He gave it to me. I don't really know who he is. No way. But I'm not from Is that others? That's yes, mine. What was it? Uh, Charger. That's a good thing I heard. So, uh, I went to the Hunter Museum in Vegas, mm -hmm. and a little hint is that he actually hangs out there in the, uh, uh, Yeah, my, my good friend uh, Chris, he actually got the chance to meet him there at his museum. Nice. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, and he came out and greeted us and stuff. Watch his first step, it's a little long. Okay. Yeah. Watch your step. Guys, we're headed out down to the basement. This is this is probably the most uh, active part of the what's out, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, I'm scared myself. Yeah, watch your step, Joseph. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I was when we got chased out of here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, man. When, when did we come here? Uh, was it back in March? Yeah. Or in April? Mm hmm. Like underwater? Yeah. Somebody took it down from both the toilets? No way! being here and it ends up being on the other side of the room. Uh, occasionally stuff moves around but it's mostly because people come down here every once in a while. Mm, okay. Whether it's workers or it's something else, you know, someone okay. else. Uh, I will tell you that last night we all thought someone was sitting in this chair. There's nobody there. <laughs> we all and you can see us. a silhouette? Yeah, you can see that somebody was there. You can kind of feel the person was there. Yeah. Um, so this closet right here is sort of a no-go zone for us. Um, so it's, uh, we were told it was a portal, and the spirits won't tell us where it comes, where it's from, or where where it goes. Uh, but some like the things I tell people is, if you take a picture inside here, you're going to see a big black skull. Mm -hmm. That's just mold. So. Ignore that. Okay. Uh, something uh, we always make sure this is not moving. This is like a pull string, and just somebody put it right here. But I've actually seen this. I heard a thump like that, and I was standing on the opposite end of the of the basement, and I shine my flashlight over here, and it's just me and like three of my team, and that's it. 
and they're all over on the other end. I hear that thump, and I shine my flashlight, and this thing is swinging wildly like that. No way. Did it hit the side? That's how much it was swinging. Uh, we got candy and some toys and a ball for Sarah. She doesn't like them. But we <laughs> left them there anyway. Uh, I have a doll. The doll usually sits down there. Um, the doll, uh, I'd have to put the head back on almost weekly. Oh my God. So uh, I just got tired of putting the head back on, so I just left it off there. <laughs> That's creepy though. Yeah. And then over here, there's a uh, elevator shaft. Okay, yeah, I remember this. The elevator. It doesn't go very high, it just goes to the, to the, to the first floor there. But uh, it drops about five feet down right there. Oh, crap. Um, there may or may not be somebody buried down there. They, they won't tell us. One bar. Oh, that was quick. Wow. It's draining the batteries now. Yeah, that's what happens here. Good thing you brought lots. Yeah. Got the coal chute over there. They used to dump the coal down here for the boilers. Okay, I remember that from last time. Because the Reagan's right next door, right? The other way. Uh, this way? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... No, they don't connect, huh? No. No, because there's an alley there. Yeah. The Reagan does that the walk way. is almost the same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 about uh, five feet between the buildings. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other side, over here, on the other side of that wall, is a building underneath the parking lot. It's about a 10,000 square foot facility underneath the parking lot. Really? Yeah. It's sort of hidden. It's a secret. Right. used to be a secret government facility from back in the day. Uh, they don't really use that sort of thing anymore. Uh, so it's it's owned by certain people that own hotels and stuff, but it's locked from the inside. So there's got to be access somewhere else. There's got to be a tunnel that leads to it. And it wouldn't surprise me if that tunnel was right back here. Well, remember that that uh, that wine part that they had in the Reagan? Yeah. Remember how they, they said that there's a tunnel that goes back there? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's probably something that has to do with that. And it Maybe actually no goes to uh, Max next door. Because mm -hmm. so, okay, they, yeah. they used to join up. There That's used right. to be one building, yeah. So the hot areas of this, of this room, this is a hot area right here. Uh, this area right there, um, yeah, right, right in there, mm -hmm. it's got a lot of activity right just in that little strip of uh, so If I'm correct, Dan, in the episode of Ghost Adventures, that ceiling fan is sitting on top of something right here, right? Yeah, it was the, the that bookshelf is actually in the front room. Okay. The oh, it was a bookshelf? Yeah. Okay. And then right here, uh, actually right about here, the ceiling fan was sitting right here, and it just, Came down like this. Tell me. That's that's the that's that's the leak from the ceiling. I think that we we were actually hearing it last night. We we're trying to figure out what it was. Yeah. What the hell is that? Is that a bug? Oh, oh, it's, it's a nail. Never mind. Nail sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> and that's something we've heard here is is nails or screws dropping randomly in certain places. Oh, really? well, that's creepy though. Uh, this this marble. It's kind of neat because this marble right here. We heard. It. Clack, clack, clack. So we came to investigate to see what the hell what, what happened, and that marble was actually laying in some sand over there. And, it's like, Why? and I know this place, and that wasn't there before. And so if you look at it, it's like an old school marble, but it is new. Mm -hmm. That is insane. So pretty cool. Wow. So we put it right there just to see if it moves. Okay. Well, I will put my. Uh, I'm um, motion sensing the cat ball. Now the people have seen, uh, we caught a picture of it a long time ago. Uh, somebody was joining us, another team from Juarez, and they got a picture of somebody hanging by the neck back in there. No way. And so we're like, yeah, I don't know about that. But then two of our guests have seen, and on separate occasions, have seen somebody hanging right back there from the neck. Yeah, so I don't know if there's a suicide here. It's kind of leading up to a possibility that there was. Right. So you can see this is... Just change up the battery. These beams are all original, these giant beams. 
These are the bathrooms right above us. It's kind of cool. You can see the porcelain uh, insulators still in place from yeah. when the, the original wiring went through here. Interesting technology. Yeah. Yep. Now you're gonna hear a thump right above us every once in a while. Yeah, that's there fast. Again. Yeah, it's right above us. I think that's the leak. Yeah, that's the leak. Okay. All right. So this 